Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Welcome to Brighton in Sussex, England. Um, I'm here this morning to photograph what is the West Pier. Um, it's a derelict um, pier that's been closed to the public since about 1975. Um, and it's just a frame basically, but it really does give some good photographs. So let's get going. Let's see what we can produce this morning and I'll share those photographs with you as and when. Thank you guys. Thanks for being with me. Okay, so we have arrived at the West Pier here in Brighton. Um, I've taken one photograph, um, F14 ISO 100 and an exposure time of 30 seconds, but I don't think the 30 seconds is quite long enough. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add further ND filters just to see if I can you know, extend that time a bit and use the uh, timer function on it. Um, yeah, we've got two two filters on there at the minute. I don't know if you can see those. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, so we've got two ND filters on there at the minute. Um, the 10 stop and the 6 stop. Um, it just isn't quite enough. Um, I, I need, I think I need a minute exposure. So I'm going to drop the ISO down to 50. Um, and then I'm going to see what I can do then with further graduated filters. But what I'll do now is I'll share those photographs that I've taken with you now. I've taken two or three. Um, I'm going to do them black and I'm going to do them in colour. Um, and um, yeah, we'll just see which ones are the better ones from there. Okay, so yeah, let me do that and I'll share that with you. Okay, thanks. Um, the other thing I want to photograph is now is these poles that are that used to be like the walkway to the old pier itself. Um, and I'm going to try and catch the waves as they move back um, to show a little bit of movement in there and then do a longer exposure again, yeah, so, yeah. Speak to you in a minute. Okay, so I've changed lenses. I've gone from the 70 to 200 to the 24 to 200 mil. Um, that's to allow me to get a wider perspective of the photograph. Um, I'm going for a one minute exposure. I'm at F9, I think it was, but I'll put it all down. Um, and ISO 100 and again I'm using the 6 and the 10 stop filter um, just to you know give me that longer period of time to get the effect that I want okay so what I'm doing first is I'm photographing all of the um, I think it's 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 all of the 12 poles and then I'm going to zoom in and just focus on the two that are nearest to me and try and get the movement of the water Okay, so I'll share the first one with you now of all 12 and then I'll um, move on to the next one. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I don't think the exposure time of one minute was enough. So I'm going to try one and a half minutes and two minutes just so when I go into post-production on the computer um, I can get, you know, I've got the choice of the three and then I can either mix them together to get a good photograph or you know, just work on the one that gives me the better effect. Okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll share that with you now. Okay. So what I've done is I've moved from over that side of the pier where I was, I was standing where that pole is, around about there somewhere. Um, and I've moved to the opposite side to try and get a different perspective of it. Um, there it is behind me, just here somewhere. I think it's that one. There you go rotting and falling down. This here behind me, I think it's called the British Airways Tower. If I go like this, you can see there's a dome. Um, yeah, that dome goes up and down that pole and you can, you know, pay to go and have a look at Brighton from up there. Um, yeah, you can go up there and have a look at the wonderful views of Brighton from a high. I think it's a cafe as well, but I, 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 I'm not sure. Um, having never been up there. Anyway, yeah, so what I've done is I've moved to the other side to get a different perspective. Like I said, um, I'm on F9 ISO 100. I've put the 10 stop in there, which is giving me, I can't remember what time now, three second exposure time, which isn't enough. Um, so I'm going to add another ND filter just to see if I can, you know, create more time to get a better photograph. But I'll have a look which ones are the best again in post-production and I'll share the best one with you now. 
So from this position I've got managed to get I think a two minute exposure time. I've used time and I've had to use the hand remote to open and release the shutter. Um, yeah so I think two minutes is the most I could get out of it. I've done one of 131 and 30 seconds and the lower ones as well. I'll share the better ones with you now. And um, what I'm going to do now is move so I'm ahead of the pier so standing in front of these poles and I'm going to shoot directly to the pier with the poles leading the way so yeah hopefully hopefully that that'll be a good photograph it looked it when I walked past it so I'm going to do it um, and then um, yeah I'll share that so I've come and photographed the bandstand that's in uh, Brighton um, I'll share that photograph with you now I'm now going to get something to eat because yeah. I'm hungry so yeah I'll um, share that photograph now let me know what you think speak to you in a minute well guys that's it for today I've stopped for lunch and after this I'm gonna head home so hopefully you've enjoyed or you've enjoyed the photograph so far and you enjoy all the ones that I've taken since the last time I did a bit on the camera so yeah um, I'll stick all the photographs up now please let me know your thoughts and I look forward to seeing you all again in the near future you have a great day